What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well, hope you had a good Christmas, hope you had a good new year. We're into 2022 and we're going to be hitting up some MXGP 2021 just to, uh, just to, because that makes sense. But yeah, um, new game for the channel, new series, uh, we're going to be jumping into a career mode, we're going to be bringing Dougie Decker across from all the previous series we've been doing, if you've been following any of the um, MoGP, the Supercross, uh, what else has he done, loads of other stuff, uh, he's going to be doing some MXGP now as well, so yeah, exciting times. Hope you're ready for um, a good series. I'm enjoying this game. You, uh, Some of you may notice in the top right hand corner there, I'm already at level 20. So uh, I've been playing this quite a lot before recording. Um, just to get used to it, really. And uh, it's a bit of a credit grind as well. So we're trying to make a bit of money, trying to get our level up and stuff so we can get with some good teams. Um, yeah, but we're going to jump into career mode. So without further ado, you can see he's there on the, uh, on the screen there. We've got a... Um, you get a free bike, basically, when you start. So you get to choose something. So I chose a 125 Husqvarna TC125. Um, it's pretty slow. It's pretty rubbish. I have put a, a pipe on it and stuff. But we're not going to be using that yet in a career mode. We're going to go with a factory team, I think. Let's um let's jump into there and just see what's going on. So, yo, start of a new career. So we need to obviously pick a team. That's the first thing uh, you have to do. So one thing I've noticed, if anybody has got this game recently or haven't started career mode yet, um, initially, you get these, I think it's about five or six teams. You can see down there it says first place 900 credits. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you get six teams to choose from. However, if you level up by doing quick races, um, messing about in the compound, time attacks, if you level up, you're to like level, well, I'm level 20 now, you unlock all these other teams as well in career mode, even though you've not even started yet. So we've also got uh, these ones that will pay out 1,200. Got three here. Got this Yamaha, this Kawasaki. I think that's a Husky as well. Yeah, Husqvarna. Um, and then even if you, if you get even further up to level 20, you unlock these ones as well, which offer 1,500 credits per uh, race win, which is ridiculous. Like you, And then level 30 is all the, all the top teams. So we're obviously in MX2. But yeah, so so what you do outside of career mode affects your career mode. So we've not even started, and we can already jump on some better teams than uh, maybe some guys that started the career straight away. So we obviously want that big payout. So we're going to go for one of these three. So what we got, we've got KTM on RAF's Motorsport. We got a, a gas cast, which could be interesting. SM Action Racing Team U USA Battery Battery. That's a mouthful. There's that one, which could be quite fun. Jump on a gas cast. Obviously, I'm fairly new to the motocross and supercross uh, scene. They've been on doing trials and drawing and stuff for years over in Europe. Uh, but yeah, fairly past couple of years, haven't they? They've jumped into uh, into motocross and supercross. Or we could jump on a nice little CRF two fifty. Which I'm pretty tempted to do, to be honest. Nice little Honda. Team Honda Racing Asomotor. I've got no idea. We'll talk about this more in a minute, but I'm, I'm going to be terrible with the teams, with the people's names, the riders' names. I don't follow MXGP that much, weirdly, considering I'm in the in, in the UK, in Europe. You think it would be the, the motocross I follow more, but I tend to follow the American stuff more. But anyway, I think we're going to Honda. I want to get our own gas gas, to be honest. That's my end goal. 450 class, our own gas gas team. Specced up to the, to the nines. So... I think for now, we'll jump on this Team Honda Racing. Looks pretty cool. Not bad gear. It's a bit of a mess. It's a bit too many sponsors on it. But um, yeah, let's choose this one. Yes, I'm sure I want to go for that. Happy days. Look at that. Sign for a new team. Awesome. All right, so first race of the year is going to be the uh, the Russian Grand Prix. Um, first, though, can we customize Dougie a little bit? We can. Cool. So I've got a bit of money. Not a lot of money, to be honest. It's really hard to get credits in this game. So... Uh, so what have we got? We've got 26,000 in the bank. So we get a new helmet. I'm probably going to jump... What was our gear, actually? Can I go back out a minute? Doesn't actually... Can we spin him around a little bit? What gear are we rocking? C84? Is that gear? I've, I've got no idea. Oh, there. Does it say there? Pro Circuit. No idea. Yeah, Pro Circuit, I think, possibly. I don't even know. There's no obvious logos on there. But whatever gear that is. I think we're going to rock some, uh, some Alpine Stars. Um, so we might as well go for Alpine Stars helmet as well. We currently we've currently got a white one on the go, but let's see if we can get something a bit more, a bit more interesting. Um, so let's go back in here. Let's go for red and white. Match the uh, match the bike. We'll go for a SM8 or they've got SM10s. Oh yeah, I've got SM10s actually. Let's have a look. That's pretty nice. And then we're all right. I do like the um the Alpine Star helmet. So we'll should we go with that one or with the black one? Let's go with the red and white for now. That'll do nicely. So that's going to cost us, see, like 5,000 credits for a helmet. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, we'll stick some boots on. Again, we'll go our point stars. They still haven't got tech 10s in the game. I have already bought these red and white ones. Um, these tech 7s when I was messing about in, uh, in quick mode and stuff. Well, those fox ones are pretty sick, actually. We'll go with these apple star ones for now. Let me know what you guys want to see. Like what kind of gear you want to see. Don't think we'll bother with a, a neck brace. Never been a big fan. They look a bit chunky. Uh, goggles. Got loads of bloody goggles. What should we go for? Hardly any 100% goggles. Literally three pairs. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go with those Leo ones up here. They were pretty cool. Uh, we'll go red and blue. Or we'll go... Let's go red and blue. Matches the gear a little bit. See, they're at 1,800 credits, which is mental. Uh, and that is it, I think. On your When you're on a factory team, you don't really get to customise too much. So we've got some goggles, we've got some new helmet, new boots. He's looking alright, he's looking alright. Not too bad. Crazy looking uh, setup. We need to sort out his name and his number. We're going for number 33. I'm just picking random numbers at this point. I don't think we've kept the same number for an entire series. So we're going to go for 33. Um, no real reason. Just it was available and it's a, a, I like a double number. You know, the same number twice. So... We'll go with that for now. Uh, we do need to change that though. Can we edit that? Where is that? Spin right, mate. Cheers. Right. What colour do we want to go for? Red's not looking particularly good. We should go for white. Yeah, white. All right. Go white. Keep the text and stuff as it is. I don't mind that text. There's probably, again, with this game, I, I'm not going to do like a review of this game, but uh, I'm sure most of you already know the, the fonts and stuff have just never changed. They've always been the same. Move it up a little bit. Just fits above. Might have to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Just bits about the Honda Racing. That looks not too bad. Yeah, that's right. You can sort of see it. Yeah, the fonts and stuff have not changed since like the first first like couple of MXGP games. It's ridiculous, really. But right there we go. Dougie Decker is all kitted out. We got a new team. I'll stop waffling on. I don't think we can do a lot to the bike, so we'll just leave it for now. Um, let's get into a race and see how we get on. Before we do that, actually, I need to change all the bloody settings. Why does it always do this to milestone games? They always change. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna do qualifying races for now. Uh, and we're going to do quick races to begin with. They're only, what is it, three minutes, I think? Yeah, three minutes and then two race, uh, two laps on top of that. We're going to blast for MX2, hopefully, or get onto a factory team in MX2, hopefully. And then, obviously, once we get into MXGP, start moving up the ranks, we'll do some longer races. Uh, the AR, we're going to put on realistic. Physics and got advanced. Joint brakes, we'll turn those off. Uh, rider weight. Uh, I'll leave it on semi for now. And transmission, I'll leave it on semi or Mac. Tear off, I didn't even know we had tear off in the game. They can stay on all Mac, uh, and we'll turn rewinds off. So if we crash, we crash. No rewinding whatsoever. So this could be interesting. Um, that'll do for now. Cool. All right, let's go to the Russia Grand Prix. I'm not going to even attempt that name, so let's get on with it. Here we go. I've just uh, finished up qualifying. I'll probably be cutting that out for uh, for most of the episodes for now, at least. Unless you guys want to see it, obviously let me know. But yeah, we're down in 13th, which is not too bad. The um, I think the qualifying is still a bit messed up in this game. It's a classic milestone thing. It happens in MotoGP. It happens in previous games. I think we're quicker than that. I think we should be pretty near the top, to be honest. But um, yeah, we're 13th, which is better than a few practice runs I did in you know quick races and stuff. I've been uh, qualifying last most of them. So 13th's not bad. Not bad at all. Bought our Honda CRF 250R. Uh, bike feels all right. Feels not, feels not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, we'll get into more that in a minute. Let's jump into the race and see if we can uh, race one. Obviously, we've got two races to do. Jump into the race and see how we uh, see how we get on for our first uh, first career. Here we go. All right, eight pick time. So as I said, we were uh, 13th, so we got a, a fairly, you know, we're on the we're on the right hand side of the uh, centre box there. But um, I guess we'll have this one. See if we the starts are, are also pretty terrible in this game, so we're probably going to be last off the start. We'll choose that one. Get a little dramatic cutscene. Number 33, Dougie Decker. His goggles are completely messed up. What is going on there? One minute boards on. Make sure them Alpine stars are all buckled up, mate. What's going on with the front of his goggles? The tinted visor is not a. Uh, not working well there. Oh, a little bit of deep breath. Decker 33 on the back. Doesn't look too bad in this jersey, because there's so much other wearing on him. But look at everybody else's numbers. Why can't they just let us have numbers like the AI do? Right. As predicted, pretty shocking start. We're going to cut to the inside, because they all go mad wide most of the time. And off we go. Lap one, round Russia. Let's see if we can uh, get the inside of the owl. Oh, we can't. He's going to take this inside burn. Inside rut, whatever you want to call it. Let's get his first lap out of the way, and I'll, uh, I'll start chatting about motocross in general. Ooh, going a little bit far over there, but um, he's going very wide. Oh, it's a battle for first already. Now, I'm not expecting us to win all these races, obviously. I don't really want to, us to win all the races. It gets a bit boring if we're uh, just out like, front all the time. Oh, on a bit to the left right now. 
problem is I have noticed, and uh, lots of other people have said this on other YouTube channels, the AI, once they get in front, they are pretty damn difficult. Catch up again on this realistic, uh, is it realistic? Or whatever, whatever the highest difficulty is we've got it on. Um, yeah, they're pretty hard to catch up. Oh, we've overjumped that by a mile. I'm used to this uh, this bike, clearly. And we're going to underjump. Oh, no, we cleared that pretty nicely, actually. Take the inside right here. Come on, let's see if we can get back in front of him. And we can probably keep him behind. Oh, no, you want to take that little guy in a bit there? This bit sucks for you, these little rollers. You can, if you can double over that one, you can get a decent enough run and sort of double into that. But uh, it happens very rarely. I'm trying to take the inside, but we've, uh, we're on top of the berm. Piece the landing as well. Right, I think the owl's off. So, let's see how we... Oh no, we've already gone flying over the front. Alright, down to uh, fifth or sixth position. We're gonna be short off of there. We've got Geertz in front of us now. So, um, yeah, we also did Supercross at the beginning of last year. It's obviously New Year now, by the time you're seeing this. Um, 2022. But yeah, we did Supercross 4 at the start of uh, 2021, I think it was. So, I don't know if any of you watched that, but... Um, I'm into my motocross, I really like motocross, I've also been doing a lot of MotoGP and a bit of Ride 4 on the channel lately, but I've uh, always been into motocross since a kid, ride myself, um, did a lot more kind of enduro style, like um, sort of cross country stuff rather than motocross, a little bit, but not, yeah, mainly enduro kind of, yeah, cross country stuff, you know, long two hour, three hour races when I was younger, I haven't done it as much lately, but um, yeah, we've been into it, we've been into it, so uh, I haven't followed MXGP for a very long time, to be honest, so the names are going to escape me, the tracks are going to escape me, um, I mean, I'm talking like back in the Stefan Everts days, when he was in his prime, and then towards the end of his reign, and uh, sort of Cairoli coming along, all that sort of stuff, but I mean sort of mid 2010s, sort of 2006s and all that, probably, oh, hang on, oh, what, schoolboy, shut up, mate. Yeah, that's probably the last time I was really into it. So, it's been a minute. Been watching a lot more Supercross and uh, the, the American boys. Why? Just, just start following them more. There we go, we got over that. Pretty much doubled that nicely there. Back into fifth. Um, yeah, so, I don't know these tracks very well. So qualifying is going to be a must for me, just to uh, learn the track more than actually qualify. There'll be a few on here right now. I think Matthew Basin's up next, which uh, obviously UK track. I know that one very well. So we should, oh god, I don't want to jinx it, but we should do all right right now. We're on the uh, two laps already, are we? So these quick races are pretty quick then. But yeah, so that's kind of my background on motocross. So uh, apologies in advance if I get people's names wrong or track names wrong. It will definitely happen. You can uh, you can correct me in the comments by all means. Give me some uh, information. Give me some knowledge. Be more than happy to uh, be corrected. Yeah. So we can hit some motocross. It's a poly sport, man. I love motocross. It's just insane. But um. This game's alright. Talking about the game, let's just get things out of the way in this first race. Seeing as we're down in fifth, we're not going to be winning this one, so we'll chat some rubbish. The game's good, man. There's been a lot of hate for it, obviously. There's always, ah, oh, as we go over the berm, that's not what you want to see. There's always a load of hate for Milestone games. Uh, sometimes I agree, sometimes I don't. I've not played an MXCP game for years. Um, Supercross 4 was obviously started last year. I'd say this is a lot better than Supercross 4. It's come along leaps and bounds. We're playing on, um, we've jumped that by miles. Playing on PS5, so personally I think it looked pretty beautiful. There's a few bits that aren't right still, but it's you got you've got to give it to them, man. It's so much harder to create recreate these dirt tracks than it is recreating a uh, a tarmac MotoGP circuit. Do you know what I mean? They don't change. Like whereas these American tracks, obviously you get ruts more and more as the race goes on. Track deformation and all that sort of stuff. I know it's not perfect, so it doesn't really affect the riding in this game. It'll come, it'll come one day. But, um, yeah, I don't know. People love to hate, don't they? So, I think it's good. I'm enjoying it. The physics are a little bit screwy sometimes. I'm sure we'll get some examples of that at some point. Hopefully, not in this race. So, we're, we're doing alright here. Top five. I think we take this. Oh, there we go. Alright, well, there's one. We've gone flying over that boom. I wasn't even really breaking. And, uh, we've lost the front. It's down to seventh. We're going on to the final lap already. But yeah, the game's good, the game's good. I did play MXGP20, so obviously I can't compare to that, but uh, a lot of people are saying it's, it's very similar. So I guess if you had MXGP20, 
maybe this would be, would be a bit of a disappointment. Um, a lot of people saying this, very similar, not a lot's really changed. I think the track editor has the same four tracks in it, or same four like uh, compounds that you can build the tracks on. I think they have added a fifth one recently, they've also added a new track in which was missing when the game was uh, released in the MXGP season. Um, that tower thing's new as well, I think that came in the recent update. Um, but yeah, if you haven't played one for a while, I, I, I don't see why you won't, you won't get it. It's a good game. It looks beautiful. Loads of people were telling me to get MX bikes and stuff. A few comments I had on um, other people's videos that I was commenting on. People saying get the MX bikes, MX simulator on PC. And maybe one day I will. But that's like a serious sim. Like, physics and stuff. This, it's still, you know, it's difficult. You, I, I, you know, I'm not claiming to be good at this game at all. But, you know, I'm doing alright in this race, to be fair. Seventh place. Realistic AI and all that sort of stuff. Full uh, simulation. But it's still got arcade elements to it. I mean, you can pick it up, anyone can pick this up and have a basic understanding of Mario Cross and be able to do alright. But um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the game. So I hope we'll get a good series going and we'll uh, work our way up to um, the MXGP class. Oh, short off there, though. We're on a final lap. Let's. Um, Beaton's taking the win. Already. Oh, no, we're going to get wide, which means we're going to lose P7, probably. Someone's going to come flying up the inside. I think we're going to get away with it. Boom. Alright, P7 in our first race is nothing... Nothing to cry about. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Our goggles are still knackered. I don't know if I like this bike, actually, the look of it. It looked good when we picked it in the career menu, but uh, not sure about those gold rims. It's a very Honda thing to do. But anyway. Yeah, so Beaton took the win. Van der Moeschik took second. Vial was third. And then we're down in seventh. So, you know, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Um, not too bad at all. Obviously, that's going to be exactly what the championship looks like for now. Obviously, with the first race of the season. So, without further ado, let's jump into the second one. Bit of a better gate start. Gate pick, sorry. And, uh, yeah, see how we do in the second race. Here we go, race two. I'm going to be lined up against the Yamaha's Bullocks fit. Factory boys. Uh, yeah, obviously, all the... Pretty much all the other factory boys <laughs> up the top. So, we're doing all right. We're doing all right for uh, a slightly lesser team. We'll pick this gate. We won't uh, go through this cutscene every time. Especially with the goggles messed up like that. Perhaps we'll change our layout goggles to something else. Skip that. Let's try and get a good start. Pull the clutch in, lean forward. Ugh. Just, you can. That was a pretty good reaction time, I think, anyway. We're going to get a whole shot, though. No, we're not. Oh, we might, we might, we might. Oh, I don't know who got that. No, oh, Beaton got it, apparently. Alright, fair enough. But we are in the lead. That's all that matters. Let's see if we can get away this time. But be careful around that left hander there. If you, uh,. If you use the right stick to lean over too much, then uh, you go down very easy in that corner. I noticed in qualifying. I only had a five minute qualifying, so I'm not, you know, I'm not mastered this track. But as I said, I've been playing the game a little bit before uh, starting this career mode. We're obviously up to level 20 already, as I said. Mainly just so we can get some credits and stuff. And uh, I didn't know at the time, but obviously, uh, obviously that's unlocked for these other teams that we can sign for straight off the bat. Um, so yeah, good tip there. If you didn't listen to that at the start. If you level up in quick mode and all that sort of stuff, it um, carries over to career and you can start your career on a better uh, better team, better bike, rather than starting at the very bottom, which I, is a bit stupid really. I think it should be all completely separate, the career mode and the uh, quick mode and stuff, but you know, whatever, it's all good, it's all good. At least it gives us a head start. And uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, calls from some factory teams. I'm pretty sure there are team changes, contract changes halfway through the season on this game. Which is always good. Oh, we're in the wrong gear right now. Um, the corner. Got away a bit. Didn't drop us back. But yeah. So we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Uh, we've managed to stick with this lead for nearly three quarters of this lap. So can we keep a whole lap in the lead? Gonna cut that nicely there. Jump over all the, uh, all the signs. Yeah, it goes looking forward to the series. Comments, what you want to see, what you want to... I mean, obviously it's career mode, so there's not a lot I can change. Um, as I said, we're going to stick with the, uh, the official teams for now. Because um, although I've got money to buy some new bikes and stuff, and new gear, I mean, we haven't... I mean, we spent, God knows, like, eight grand, was it? On just a helmet, boots, and some goggles. But, um, so we've got a bit of money, but not a lot. The bikes are, like, 22,000 credits, 24,000 credits for the four fifties, I think. There are two straights in the game, obviously, as well, which uh, come with the game. They'll be able to see the sign, which is, you know, how it should have been in all the previous games we've had um, and Supercross. But uh, at least it's finally free, included in the game. Suzuki's not in the game. Um, 
Maybe they're in MXGP this year. Again, I don't know, so correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure they weren't in MXGP, which is why they're not in the game, which is a bit sad, really. You know, Suzuki's been a you know big brand, really. I know they've been pretty pretty bad for uh, the last couple of years, but you know they were they were top dogs at one point. So shame they're not in it. We have got um, gas gas in the game. We have also got the beta or beta, however you want to say it. If you're American. Um, you Americans probably don't know what that is. Again, European brand. Uh, more known for their trials and sort of um, enduro. Oh god, hang on, where are we going? Enduro sort of stuff. But yeah, they obviously raced a bike in this, I guess. Um, you obviously got the TM as well, which has been around for years in MXGP. Um, never, I've never know, I don't think they race in America. I've never noticed that they do. But um, pretty well, like, unknown brand, really. Like, considering they've been around so long. They're not very popular. I don't, I've never seen anybody ride one in real life. When I've you know rode motocross and droids and stuff, I don't think I've ever seen a TM in person. Um, oh, I've got to go wide. We keep this boy going. That's mine. This is another thing that I've noticed. If you you know get in the lead and you you don't crash obviously and you you know keep some good lines, keep a half decent pace, they just don't seem to come past you. Like they are probably a lot quicker than I am, especially the top like five guys. But. Uh, Fernandez is right behind us. But yeah, they don't seem to get past you as long as you don't make any stupid mistakes, which we might be doing there. Oh, got away with it. Yeah, so a few other bikes. I think there's another one as well. There's another random brand, uh, which I've completely forgotten the name of. I don't, I don't think I even knew it was a, a brand, to be, to be honest. So I think it begins with F. I've completely forgotten what it's called. But, um, let's have the gas gas in here, though. A bit different. It's obviously pretty much KTM. Of course, owned by KTM, though. Um, yeah, they've, they've been massive over in Europe for, for years, so for you American guys out there that might not know what they are, they are, they are a well-known brand, um, even more so now, KTM have bought them, but uh, yeah, so that's the plan I, I think, I want to be on a 450 gas gas at some point, whether it's the factory team or our own team, probably our own team, be more fun, we can customise everything, put our own pipes on it, grips, bars, all that sort of stuff, we can have a look at customization at some point if anyone wants to see it, just on that little 125 we've got that you get. I should have chose a, uh, a 250 four stroke really when, when I started the game, but I, uh, I love a two stroke, so I chose the 125. But um, yeah, riding it around stock, it's, uh, it's pretty damn slow, even compared to the 250, um, 250 four strokes. But um, it's all good, it's all good. We've got this nice Honda. I love these Hondas with the dual exhaust, I think they look sick. So I'll stick with this for a bit until we. Oh no, he's dropped it! They're all coming through. This is the area, look, they're all just backed up behind me, so we've now got Geertz and Vial in front of us. Oh, and we've gone down again, straight into the side of Vial, I think it was. Well, it's annoying, right on the uh, penultimate at that. Let's see if we can get a few of them back, at least get another top five would be nice. Well, not another top five, get a top five. They do battle with each other, they are, quite a bit, which is nice. And that does help you, uh, these two are going at it now. We're going to get past... Just got more speed, man. A lot more power. But why? We're on a pretty decent team. Come on, boys, go wide or something, or take each other out. Fernandez, ugh, Fernandez and Renault in front of us there. The said, I don't follow it that much, and I definitely don't follow the MX2. I know more of the, the names in the MXGP class, but um, MX2 is a little bit unknown to me. But. Uh, Anyway, oh, and yeah, all right, there we go. That was a perfect example of the AI doing some stunning little uh, scrubs, whips, whatever you want to call them, over that tabletop. But uh, I will not be doing any of those. The the whips are so broken. They've been broken in these games for years. We've got past them up there, though. They really slow up this hill as well. Oh, let's see if we can get Renault. Get into a podium position. Oh, we have, we have, we're in third. We're actually doing alright, we're actually catching them up. So my um they're obviously battling with each other quite a bit on this lap. Oh we've gone wide there though. Ah, oh, see there's another example of the the not so brilliant physics at times. I don't think I was that at the line there, was I? Not to go over the front anyway, but alright. Could be a P5 then, I don't think we'll catch up through this bit, they're pretty quick through. Yeah, alright, P5, P5 was not bad. P7 and P5 were. Boom. We'll take it, we'll take it for now. It's not too bad. There we go, another race done. So yeah, Vial took the win. Geert second, and Fernandez third. We were we were close to getting that third place, but uh, ended up fifth. We were pretty close to him, not far behind at all. 
our uh, our best time was 141.4, and they were doing 141.0s, point threes. We were pretty quick, actually, pretty on pace. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Championship standards, where uh, where are we? P7, or sorry, that's the overall. I don't know what this is anymore. Final rankings, yeah, this is the overall rankings. So we're uh, seventh overall, which obviously make us seventh overall in the championship for now with the first round. And our beautiful, nice, clean bike. Our mechanics have been at work. Um, we're not there because you only get to see yourself if you're P1 in this game. Uh, everybody else is a complete loser. Seventh overall in our first round, though. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. We'll take it for now. So uh, there's championship standings, exactly the same as I said. But there we go. Russia is complete. Gets more. Uh, Credits, more points. Look, I mean, so we've got 2,700 credits for that entire thing, which is nothing. You can't even buy some goggles with that, or some boots, or a helmet with that. So, whatever, it's going to be a grind, but uh, we'll, we'll keep at it, we'll keep at it. And there we go, just like that, back to the uh, the main screen. So yeah, next up's going to be Matley Basin. As I said, for now, we're going to do quick races. I'm going to do one Grand Prix per episode. Um, just smash for it as much as we can. Uh, we're obviously with Team Honda Racing Asso Motor. Um, we have got career challenges. We did see other people on some videos. Well, I don't know how you unlock these. I think they just unlock at random times. So we'll do these when they pop up. We'll just probably just do it in the same episode as a as a Grand Prix. Um, but I think that's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure you leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a future episode. And I'll be back with some more MXGP21 next time. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.